Hi there. So I wanted to uh, do a quick demo of uh, the new features that will be in the next version of QP Proxyman. If you have ever wanted to save your uh, proxy cache uh, alongside your After Effects project rather than in a preset location, it's now possible to do that. Uh, for example, if you move computers and uh, you uh, need to have your proxy cache move with you, or if you wanted to archive your proxies after the uh, project's finished, you can now switch on uh, the auto save proxies with a project uh, setting, and that will set that proxy cache folder alongside the A project. Of course, you have to save the project first. Um, I've got my project saved, and uh, these are some proxies that I made earlier with this setting on. So the Proximate cache is now in the same folder as the After Effects project. Um, some uh, changes to uh, importing. Uh, now if you have a folder selected in your project panel and you import some footage, you can see that it will import directly in to that folder. I'm just going to kick off that render. And while that renders, I can talk about the uh, progress bar that's been added here and the uh, the status indicator. Um, so depending on how many uh, proxies you've got to render, this will start creeping along as and when uh, they are assigned. Um, and you'll also get a little uh, error indicator over on the right here. So green obviously means there are no errors. Uh, so I've basically been working on improving the uh, the way that QP Proximan reports errors. Uh, before it would interrupt the process with a, a pop-up um, which obviously wasn't ideal uh, so now it will silently report errors in the background and log them to a file and if there are any errors you'll see uh, this has turned red um, however you can still look at the log file if you want to uh, single clicking this will get rid of the uh, indicator double clicking will bring up the log file viewer um, which just shows the um, uh, the actual text file uh, contents. If there are any errors, there will be a bit more information there. And uh, if you, for example, wanted to email me uh, the error log if there were some problems, then you'd be able to go to the Finder window, and uh, here's the log file, which uh, which contains the same information as is shown here. Um, one more uh, pretty big feature that's been added to this uh, version of the uh, of the script is the ability to uh, copy and proxy. So for source files such as movies or image sequences, you can choose to copy the original version of that over into your um, proxy cache uh, rather than rendering it, which is useful if you know you're working with high quality material and you don't want to recompress it. Um, and uh, you know, if, if if networking speed is the only issue, then you know you could just copy the uh, the original source over to your proxy cache, which could be local. Um, I'll demonstrate that now. Uh, I shall import a piece of footage uh, or a couple actually. Click on import and you'll see that this is much quicker at working than uh, than rendering it will just actually literally just copy the stuff over uh, there we go and they're both done quick as you like and uh, now in this uh, quick switch list which is the new name for the quick set panel uh, we can see that the uh, you know this the type of proxy that we have here so either rendered as with the uh, first three uh, or copied uh, which are the two that I've just imported um, Quick switch list has uh, been improved uh, somewhat. Um, if you recall, in the uh, original version, if you were to select something in the quick set panel, it would mirror that selection in the project panel, which could cause some uh, pretty horrific scrolling of the uh, project panel, uh, especially if you had uh, hundreds or thousands of items in there, uh, and that would really hold uh, hold you up and. Um, know was uh, quite disruptive to your workflow so uh, by default now that has been turned off and uh, the buttons here act solely on the uh, contents of this list 
Um, you can turn that back on if you want. The, I've I included a, uh, a, a preference here called mirror quick switch list selection in project and vice versa. And if you do turn that on and then you start selecting things here, you'll notice that it starts scrolling away, um, which uh, yeah, it's not it's not ideal. So I don't recommend having that switched on. So as well as uh, the buttons that were there originally, which are turning proxies on or off, uh, you can now uh, switch all proxies off and on from the quick switch list. And you can also uh, remove proxies from the list. Uh, so for example, if I uh, quick click on that one, there we go. It takes it straight out of the uh, project. It doesn't actually delete the uh, uh, proxy from disk. It just uh, removes it from the project. So I'm going to quickly just clear all the proxies from this project. There we go. And show you uh, the make button. So I've changed the name from render to make, obviously, because uh, now not everything is rendered if you're using the copy and proxy mode. Um, however, if you know if you are rendering, it does the same thing as the render button did. Uh, but now there's this little tick mark in the top, which indicates that you can alt or option click for an alternative function. Um, this is the quick make button, and uh, that will make proxies from everything in your project that can be proxied. Um, let me just show you that in action. So you get this little uh, pop-up menu. You can choose whether you want to make proxies from footage, comps, or to ignore items with proxies uh, already assigned. So I'm going to um, choose all of those options and click on Quick Proxy. So what it'll do is it'll kick off a background process. Uh, the first thing it'll do is it'll render this comp here. You can't copy this comp, obviously, because it doesn't have any source. Um, However, all the rest of these items will be uh, copied over, and you can see this happening as we as I talk. Uh, I have added something which I'm not sure may make it into the final version or not, but um, if you have a folder called the do not proxy with underscores, double underscores either side, it will ignore those. Uh, and there we go, everything has been um, moved over into the proxy cache. Uh, nice and quick. Quick look at the log file here. Everything worked as expected. So uh, finally, uh, just a few um, additions to uh, these render presets. Uh, you can now share your render presets with other users. Um, I've got a list of presets here. If I want to copy these, I can click on this button and select copy, then paste it into an email, and then my colleagues can then open up QP Proximan click on edit, paste presets, and paste that in. Um, it will see if there's any problems with the uh, with the definition there, and then allow you to click on update. Uh, say yes, there we go. It's updated them with exactly the same things. Um, uh, but you can also uh, save sets of presets out. So if you have quite a few presets and you want to keep things nice and neat for a particular project you can say okay well you know I've got my VFX uh, presets here so for example I'm going to load these in from my desktop here I've got my VFX presets and uh, now I've got a smaller list of presets that are specific to that kind of project uh, same with sort of motion graphics I've got some uh, different ones here and um, you know and I'm just going to load back in all my all my presets uh, and they appear here as normal. So that is uh, the next version of QP Proximan. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about that and um, look forward to getting this out to you soon. Cheers now.